Is the paperless cockpit a reality? Is it a reality for your flight operation? With a Convention Video Minute, I'm Pete Combs at NBAA 2014 in Orlando. There are plenty of vendors who'd love to sell you an iPad cockpit application, but how do you make it effectively work? Industry best practices and also legally, uh, legal requirements, federal aviation requirements, um, do dictate that operators that wish to use an iPad as an EFB do go through all of these steps, procedures, protocol that are outlined in Advisory Circular 120-76, which is for electronic flight bag certification. Eric, broadly speaking, what are some of the things that you have to do before you can obtain that certification? Well, some, some of those things do include a fairly extensive evaluation process, as you might expect. Um, also, a fairly robust training program that does cover both standard operating procedures and abnormal procedures. So that in and of itself can be a daunting task for a lot of operators. If I understood you correctly, I could upgrade my iPad and we'd have to start pretty much all over. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's, it's dynamic, uh, uh, for sure, because iPad models change. Um, operating systems change, new features are coming out on a very routine basis uh, with the various uh, chart develops. So that's a double-edged sword. We all like new items and new features and so much of that is delivered free, but we also have to understand how to effectively use those um, new features and, and new procedures and that's where a, a service like what we provide and the training programs we provide really come in. I think my last question is, this is a scalable service, can you actually buy different levels of assistance from a company such as yours that offers this kind of help? Sure, so the service we provide, we have a standard package that covers up to four aircraft and up to 20 pilots. Um, but we are happy to provide individual custom quotations for any size operation. If you decide to go it alone in obtaining iPad cockpit certification, you might find yourself chasing reams of paperwork as well as a pretty hefty cost. In fact, proponents of this type of consulting say by helping flight departments meet the training mandate alone, you can pretty much offset the entire cost of the service. With a Convention Video Minute, I'm Pete Combs at NBAA 2014 in Orlando.